examples of 401k plan service providers giving a potential participant guidance favoring IRAs. A GAO investigator phoned 30 401k plan service providers posing as someone about to start a new job and who may become a participant in a new employer's 401k plan. Okay. Um, well, yeah, do, do, you, do, you have, uh, do, you, you know, do you have any uh, specific questions about kind of the basic differences between a 401k and, say, rolling it over into a, uh, like a, re a standard retirement account with us? Do you, do you kind of know the basic differences? Uh, if you could uh, enlighten me, I'd appreciate it. Okay, yeah. So the, 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 probably the main difference is that you're going to just, uh, you're going to have a lot more choices here and more help. You know, with 401k plans, what they typically, uh, the administrators set them up to really, the objective is to limit uh, as much risk and liability as they can because the administrators act as fiduciaries, so if they let you invest in something that, you know, you get hurt on, then they could be liable. Mm -hmm. So so they restrict your, they restrict, which is, which is in many ways, a good thing. They restrict your choices. Um but, you know, the reason why they have to restrict your choices is because they can't really provide m much guidance. Okay. So um, what we have here is we, 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 we've, we open up to the realm of possibilities as far as your choices, but we also have the resources to provide the guidance so we can still act as fiduciary but, and, and you not get hurt. But, you know, some of, the choice, some, of the re some of the things that they restrict are actually not even more risky or even bad for you. They just... There's just, there's just only so many things you can do in a 401k, and they have limited resources. So, if you open an IRA with us, and you roll that over, what you know, right now that money is going to be in, in the 401k, and probably in a handful of mutual funds. Those exact same mutual funds you could buy in a standard IRA account if you wanted to do that. Um, we are going to eliminate some of the fees for you. Um, you know, there are quarterly fees on 401ks. They don't, they haven't always disclosed that. Um, but I, there's just some legislation now where now it's going to be requiring 401k administrators to disclose their fees. Um, but you know our accounts have no fees, and uh, so you'll have you'll 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 be able to to I guess uh, do a little bit more here with. with and I want to just add some clarity here. If you if you did the 401 if you did the 401k with like your new employer. Uh huh. What you would be doing is rolling, um, you would be basically rolling it from over into your new employer's plan. You certainly could do that, but you just keep be aware that your plan is going to have the same basic restrictions in, that that your uh, with your new employer that that, it, that you did with, and then the guidance tool that we have where we build a portfolio for that kind of goes away. So you can't do that. In the 401k, so it has to be in an IRA if you wanted to, you know, do, to go the guidance route and have a little more options as far as your investments. I see. Okay, so if I wanted to leave it in the 401, I could just leave it where it is. Yeah, you can leave it where it is. Um, you know, and kind of keep it in the funds there. Um, I, I I say in in almost every case, unless you don't have the option, it's it's almost it always almost always makes sense to roll it into an IRA that yeah. has no fees, like a no fee IRA. Because basically, you know, even if you like the funds that are in your current 401k, you can just buy those in your IRA. It's the same thing. Also, all of those funds are available retail when you buy when you have them in an IRA. So this, you're not you're not missing anything by rolling it over, but you are forfeiting some things by leaving it where it is. All right. So I, what I'm saying is I'm switching jobs here. So. Should I switch it from my old 401 to a new 401 or to an IRA or? I would, I would you know, obviously, you know, because I believe in the account, that's what I, I do here. I would go with the IRA. It's just it gives you a lot more flexibility and control. From an investment standpoint, it's not tied to an employer in your own name. Uh, it's just a lot more advantageous in terms of uh, not, not having it tied to an employer. It's in your own account. And it stays tax deferred, so it's a you know, tax shelter as well. You know, so you're, you're not, it's not like you're cashing it out or anything. 
So uh, is there anything else I need to know? Well, as far as the, the process, let me ask you this. Are you still undecided on about the employer plan versus the IRA? It makes no difference on our end. I'm just trying to let you know that if I were in your shoes and you're not wanting to use the money for a loan, um, I would head the IRA route. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I think I have an idea. The, the only My only concern with that is just, you know, who's managing the money, how, how you know, because I don't feel that confident myself in knowing what to do with it. Well, if that's the case, that's more power in the IRA then, because if you're not somebody that feels confident doing it yourself, I can help you set it up to be a hands-off account to where you can pretty much set it aside and forget about it. But if you did have questions, you can always call in and ask us for guidance and recommendations where the employer plans, they're very restrictive. So... You're not allowed to get that kind of help, even if it's not at any institution. Uh, ERISA guidelines for 401k plans don't allow companies like to get recommendation help. But if over the next five years, you're going to be able to build that account up on your own and not need to touch those other assets, then I'm a firm believer in taking control of your money and putting it into an IRA that you can that essentially takes away from the, uh, the employer's command, if you will. Okay. So highly recommend in your particular situation, the IRA would be the best route to take. If I go to the new 401, now that's with you. I'm wondering, you know, what, what options, I, would I have the same options as I have with the IRA? Not necessarily. Um, they may have the similar platform that uh, you had before where they're probably going to give you a handful, maybe 20 or 25 or so mutual funds to choose from. Some of our plans that we offer here at um, do allow you what's called a or a personal retirement account. Mm -hmm. It may let you get outside of that platform box a little bit and, and invest in other things that you may. But the IRA is going to give you the full flexibility um, of, of the different options. Okay. The, the 401ks are limited, limiting because the, the companies are the ones that set up those accounts. They want it um, to be easy to uh, record keep and administer. And so they've chosen all of those typically for you already of what you can actually choose from. This video is a part of a GAO report. 401k plans, labor, and IRS could improve the rollover process for participants. GAO 13-30.